The June 28th update and maintenance info has arrived, and with this patch we are closing the gap between the global and Japanese servers to a one week gap in total. So we are already getting the latest unit that JP is having, and that is a new Captain Meliodas. Base Meli, he's blue, available in a step up draw, so 31 if you're trying to be economically sound or do the full 242 if you want to get a new unit with a lower amount of gems it's up to you this is probably a skip banner because he is definitely one of the worst units that they've released in a long time especially being an ssr unit in today's meta so take a looking at his skills really quick his first attack is a sever attack 160 270 and 450 his second attack is an aoe that does nothing on rank one which is pretty rare especially for a, a new unit removes buffs at rank two and removes buffs and stances at rank three and then he has his standard ultimate that cancels buffs and stances and stuns for one turn and has a faint link with giant Deanne that does the same thing with a little more damage now unfortunately base meliotis does not have a relic yet since he is a demon those relics have not released so all that's left is his passive. At the start of the allies turn, increase the basic stats of allies with less than two skills by 20%. I think this is similar to Nanashi's passive, which scaled based off of having X amount of cards in hand. However, Nanashi's buffs were blue. Meliodas's buffs are going to be gray, which means Amplify is not going to scale with this. So there's that. With that out of the way, the next thing that we've got going on is a guild boss shift to Akumu. It is push week, so if you guys are trying to get into Guild Wars, make sure you push as hard as you can. This is the qualifying week to do so. They are adding the festival coin to Super Awakening coin exchange permanently. So one fest coin for seven Super Awakening coins. And you can do that in an unlimited amount if that, uh, whoever that applies to. And you know who you are if it does. Bug fixes, some artifact set bonus descriptions were not displaying correctly. That is a currently active with the tally, HP recovery set, the tally set. Mark the tally, or something like that, with bond in it. It just says none. We have a new tower. It's a vent tower, not a tower reset. So this is pretty much aimed at some random rewards, which they could have revamped this. They could... Uh, Consider taking out these gear selectors for some UR pendants, since that's a thing now. They could consider taking out these books for original Demon Fire or the gold even. Maybe add more than just three five-star XP pots. Maybe make this six. Who knows? You know, there's a lot of things they could have done here. But I guess it's still free rewards. There's a new coin shop event up to July 26th. You can exchange two festival coins for a UR pendant. So that is probably one of the most exchanges of all time. This That's definitely an exchange. Fort Solgris has revamped its um, daily rewards again. A hammer now. Woo. And then same stuff here, same stuff there. New battle event with Thonar. You can get some enhancement stones. That's cool. And that is it for the 28th update.